welcome to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this mood board in Word quickly and simply. So the first thing we need to do is to bring all of our assets into Word. So go to insert, go to pictures, click on the drop down, just go down and select pictures from file. When you've got your file up just select the top picture here I'm going to select all of these pictures, so I'm going to press my shift key, click on the bottom one, and then just simply click insert. Now, if I just zoom out, you'll see that all my pictures have been inserted, but they're all on multiple pages. So what I'm going to do is select each picture, right click, go down to wrap text and select in front of text. And each time I do this, you'll see that the pictures begin to place themselves on the first page. We can also resize them just so that we can see all of the images. So once we've got all of our assets into Word, we can put a borderline, a white borderline around the outside of all of our images. You don't have to do this, but I choose to. I think it gives a better look to the image. You see this one here has already got that white border around it just because of the way I've exported it. So if we select each picture, hold down the command or control key on your keyboard, select all of the images, go to picture format and go along to format pane and click, go to the bucket icon, go to line and click on this drop down, go to solid line, the colour you should pick is white and the width here is 5 and down at the joint type or join type just click mitre to give you a nice square edge then just click enter and then deselect and now if I move these images around you can see they've all got this nice white border once you've done that just go ahead and move them around you can resize them now for example I want this image to be on top of this image here select the image make sure you're on picture format Go to bring forwards, click on the drop down and select bring to front and that's how you can move these images around. Alternatively you can go to selection pane and you can simply use these eyedropper tools here to select your image and if you want it to go to the front just simply select it, click and drag it to the top or above another certain picture. Completely your choice or you can move it down. This one here you can see I've got picture one there and I select it and actually I want to move that one to the top. There we go. Once you're happy with the placement of your images we can now insert some text. Go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Click and draw out a text box and then just put in your text. If you select the text you can go to the home tab and customize the text click on the drop down and you can change the font and you can change the size of the font or you can use these increase decrease font size tools just so that you can see exactly how this will affect your design and then the color choice here you can choose a font color you can choose any of these colors and then we can just reduce the size of that text box and then we can move this anywhere we like you can see this has a white background and if I deselect it's also got a black border. If you want to get rid of both of those, select it, go to shape format, go to this icon which is shape outline and select no outline. Go to shape fill and select no fill. And then we can rotate this around and then we can move it to the side don't have to do this. When you move these around you can see they're a little bit clunky and they like to almost click into place. If you want more control just press your optional alt key and then you'll see it's a lot smoother. Now, if you want some more text just simply select this text box, hold down the alt or option key, click and drag. Alternatively you can use the normal copy and paste whichever you choose. Let's just go back deselect them both, reselect just this one and rotate it like this and then we can select all of the text. If you want to select the text make sure your cursor is inside the text box by double clicking 
Command and Control A will select all of the text and then you can just put in some more text. Deselect the box, reselect the box. Now you can make customizations to this box without selecting the text, just as long as your cursor is not inside the text box. Now I'm going to make several copies of this one because I want to use lots of text around my mood board. So I'm just going to make several copies. So the high ceilings one is going to go here. I'm just going to move these over a little bit. Then this one, I'll change the text. Reduce the size of the text. And you can place these anywhere you like in your design. It's completely up to you. Also on mood boards, you're also going to want to use some arrows if you want. So go to insert, go to icons. And over here in the search bar, just type in arrow and press enter. And scroll down to select the arrow that you would like. I think these at the bottom are rather nice. So I'm going to select this one, click insert. And you can just rotate these and place them exactly where you need them. And obviously you can move them. But before you move them, you'll have to go up, select it, go to wrap text and select in front of text. And then you can move it and resize it. You can copy and paste it again by selecting, hold down the alt or option key, and then just click and drag another one out. Deselect both of them, reselect one of them, alt or option, and then again move it down. If you want to do a swatch at the bottom for your colours, go to insert, go to shapes, click on the circle, click hold down your shift key, which will make a perfect circle. This has got a border around the outside and the fill colour. So select it, go to shape format, and then select no outline. And then on the shape fill, go down to more fill colors. And here you've got a color wheel. You've got a slider here, which will make the color lighter or darker. And then you've got this little cursor that you can move around to match your colors. If you're fortunate enough to have this eyedropper tool, then things will be a lot easier for you because you can select it and simply go across to any of your pictures, select a color and click. The color you've selected will be here and then simply click OK. And you can see down here your selected color. Again, copy and paste. I'm going to do that three times. And then with the alignment, I'm going to select them all holding down my command or control key. Go up to align. Go to distribute horizontally, which will give them an equal distance between them. And then align to top, which will mean they're all in a row. If I just quickly group it and just move it down, let's just make this one a little bit smaller so that we can fit things in. There we go. Then go to shape format, align, align to center. That will mean all of those circles are in the center, but then go to group and ungroup them. And then you can go along and change the color of each one. So I've got some preset colors here that I've already matched. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on each one for my color swatch at the bottom here. Now, once you've finished your mood board and you're happy with the way it looks, you might not want this stark white background. If you don't, the background is the last thing that you should put on it. Otherwise, you'll keep clicking on it all the time and moving it, which will be really frustrating. So for the background, go to insert, shapes, click on the rectangle or the square, click and drag across your page, and then simply go to shape fill, select the color that you'd like, and then go to send backwards, click on the drop down and select center back. Let's just go ahead and change the outline for this one. So once you're happy with this, you can go ahead and save it as a PDF file, or a document or a template. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.